Hi, this is Art with OCRV. Um, here at OCRV in Yorba Linda today. Uh, I don't think we've done some videos in a little bit here. So this is our new facility in Yorba Linda. So we're going to do a little shop tour today and show you what we've been up to for the last couple months. Uh, so we're over in the paint department. Uh, these are our uh, temporary uh, prep stations slash paint booths. Uh, this is a vehicle that just came out of the spray booth that's been color sanded, getting ready to get polished. Uh, so we refabricated all these bag doors. These are custom aluminum bag doors that you can see that we've built new doors, all new fresh aluminum, new backing. Um, it's been all color matched and painted and we'll polish this up and get it detailed up and cleaned up and back to the customer. So we're going to walk around and show you some of the projects that we're working on. 2019 uh, Freightliner flatbed truck that took on a, uh, believe it or not, a Chevy Impala head-on. And it ripped the whole front end out of this big truck and you can see how it damaged this door frame and the door and literally tore the front axle out of this thing. So we just got uh, delivery of all these suspension parts. Uh, we're getting ready to start assembling the frame and the front end and then get the body work done. We'll get this thing over to paint, get it back into action. You can see we get involved in all kinds of projects, um, custom fabrication, what have you. This is a you know unique little trailer, uh, but we try and help everybody out. It's a uh, uh, the guy hauls around and sells uh, floor scrubbers. So this is his custom trailer that he had built and we fixed it up for him a few months ago and he had a blowout or someone ran into him and tore the whole side of it off. So we're welding some new steel in, putting a new axle in and paint it up and get it back to him so he can go back to work. Uh, this is the uh, 1962 Catalina Island uh, tour vehicle. So we've got some previous videos and lots of photos on our website of this uh, vehicle. It's one of the uh, original tour vehicles for Catalina Island. And so we're involved in a project. We're helping them restore and bring back some of their original tour vehicles. So we've done all the body and paint, replaced all these panels, lots of corrosion repair, and we've got it paint. We're uh, building all the interior parts right now, which we'll show you in a little bit. So if you come inside, you can see it just came back from Cummins and Cummins put brand new 2019 uh, green friendly, fuel efficient, new diesel engines and Allison transmissions in these units. So right now we're getting ready to build a custom uh, engine cover all insulated with uh, lots of sound deadening and heat resistant shielding on it and start reassembling this bus and get it back to the island company. They're going to be using this uh, the first of the year. So we'll bring you lots more on this project as we uh, get it done here. So this is another vehicle for Catalina Island Company and we've got some videos of this and photos as we were tearing it down. It's been sandblasted, a lot of the metal's been replaced, uh, getting ready to do the finished body work. We're building the interior for it. And as you can see, uh, this thing was just gone for a couple months and actually just come back from Cummins as well. Got a brand new Cummins engine and transmission in it as well. So the versatility here at our shop is wide. Um, we can help with normal everyday collision repairs, service and repair and housework, uh, interior refit, remodel, and also help companies with their uh, big restoration projects and custom builds. These projects are very deep, very expensive, uh, but the outcome with this vehicle, it's a piece of history for Catalina Island, and it'll be far better than it was new in 1953 when it rolled off the uh, the assembly line back then. So um, we talked a little bit before when we moved over here that we had bought um, a fabrication shop uh, out of Costa Mesa and here's some of the equipment 
that we've got uh, we've got sheet metal bending forming mills lathes uh, all the tools that we need to fabricate and build custom parts and brackets and anything that we come up against uh, we pretty much handle it in-house so the capabilities are are great uh, let's walk around and see a couple other things that we're doing and a little side note on these buses as well for Catalina Island uh, we're not only doing the body and paint and but we're also helping them we're going to actually be refitting with new axles suspension airbags and braking systems on these as well um, and we'll bring you updates on this and see how these projects go and we're excited to get them back to Catalina Island so obviously this is our normal day-to-day -day stuff uh, you know as an RV collision repair shop uh, this Monaco night uh, I'm not sure the circumstance I think a car got in an accident and spun out in front of them and uh, and so they got in a collision with a vehicle and you can see there's some pretty extensive damage to the motorhome uh, it looks worse than it is uh, once it got back into the structure of the motorhome uh, it wasn't uh, a really a, a fair battle with that vehicle the vehicle got hammered luckily everybody's okay uh, everybody's okay in the motorhome as well too so we'll show you more on this as we get into it and tear it down and start the repair process so right here we've got a, uh, a Newmar Essex, nice coach, uh, similar, um, similar deal, car wiped out in front of him, he took it out, uh, we had the whole front end off of this coach, this front lower fiberglass was just destroyed, well this part's really not available, so we refabricated and rebuilt this part as well as the new steel inner structure. Uh, it's all been painted and polished. Everything's fit back on. We got diamond shield coming out tomorrow to put the new diamond shield on it. And uh, then we'll get it detailed up and get it ready to deliver back to the customer. We also did some roof repair uh, and repaired the rear, rear cap, some customer pay work for this customer. We'll get him detailed up. He'll have his coach back for the holidays. So we're excited to get that done and back to him. So, uh, you know, just a normal day here at, at OCRV. You can see we're busy um, and lots of stuff going on. Here's a um, little uh, national dolphin coach that had some rear end damage and a new side door. We had to fabricate a new aluminum side door here for this coach. It's getting ready to go to paint. And in the middle of all that, we've opened up our front door today and dropped that concrete slab out there and we're getting ready to bolt up a new entry door so we've got better access into the front of the building here, make things a little bit more efficient. Coach, we've done some pretty extensive remodel work too as well. This is a 97, it's an older country coach. You wouldn't know it by looking at it. It's a beautiful motorhome. Um, so we're almost finished up with this project. Uh, it's gonna be a little dark in there, but we built a custom headliner for it. Um, and installed a residential refrigerator and it came through this window that's why the window's out you can see in the front how we rebuilt this tv front cabinet and did the headliner and some upholstery uh, this project's getting ready to get buttoned up and leave here last thing we got to do this coach is we're going to remove this awning and actually put a uh, gerard side mount awning on this so it'll make it real nice, updated a little bit. Um, this is a neat coach. There's not a whole lot of them, but guys from uh, Country Coach split off and did Alpine Coach. Uh, they're no longer building uh, diesel pushers, but they're still building trailers and they build really nice ones. So we took the old clear bra was um, cracking and coming off of this, real common problem. You know, they've got the diamond shield or the clear bra on these. And after, you know, five or 10 years, they start drying up and looking bad. So we've removed that, prepping the front end for paint. He had a, uh, had a problem with this windshield. It was leaking, it didn't get set right. So we've removed that. Um, and we're gonna refinish the front end, put a new clear bra on it for him and uh, get this coach back to him. 
So uh, here at OCRV also we get into a lot of uh, just uh, general house and trailer repair, uh, you know, refrigeration, air conditioning, water pump systems, uh, heaters, uh, water heaters, a uh, lot of tire blowout problems with, uh, with trailers. Everybody that owns a trailer knows that that's a common problem with these things. Get a blowout and then the tire takes out the wiring and plumbing. Uh, this particular trailer here, this Aspen Trail, uh, it had the whole side wiped out on it. Uh, customer run it up against something, and I think we've got some video and some pictures that we can show you along with this video, and it tore the whole side off of it off, and so we've replaced the metal skins and then done all the new vinyl graphics to match. Uh, I believe there was some damage on both sides. Um, so we've got a, a trailer here for, uh, this is for Method Wheels, uh, Tensor Tires, a good customer of ours, uh, real heavy in the off-road racing industry. Uh, we've reconfigured the interior of the trailer for them and then they needed an entry door on the driver's side of this so they could come in and out, um, you know, without disturbing the, social, so, the show side. Uh, so here we installed a uh, entry door over here. So I think they're getting ready to come pick this up. So this is uh, Adam Music's coach. Uh, we've done videos uh, and shown you uh, quite a bit of uh, this motorhome over the years. We built a gorgeous interior on this uh, motorhome, which there's videos on the website of it. Uh, Adam's getting ready to travel after the holidays here. So we're uh, servicing the transmission, the engine oil, generator, and just going through a hit list of stuff. Adam's a great customer, he always shows up, he's always prepared, he's got all his list of every little light bulb that's burned out or a little issue on his coach and we just take care of it for him so he's happy and we're happy. We love our customers to bring us a nice list of things they'd like us to address on their motorhome. So if you're uh, going to bring us something, please give us some thought ahead of time and give us a good solid list of everything you need us to help you with. Uh, makes the process faster. and. Uh, you know, get it done a little quicker for you. Uh, we've got some uh, kind of a unique vehicle over here. This is for the uh, county of Riverside. It's actually a, a mobile spay and neuter lab. Um, I didn't even know they did that, but they do. Um, so we'll walk you inside this. I think we've got some video. We're getting, we've already rebuilt this whole coach. We've uh, we fabricated and built new uh, interior cabinets, modified and changed the layout a little bit, and installed a new floor and putting some a uh, little bit more caging in here for the customer and reconfigured this unit a little bit. It's a little dark in here, probably not going to be able to see real good. So Curtis can get some good B-roll of this later and, and uh, show you, but we pulled all this cabinets out all the old stuff and rebuilt all brand new stuff you can see it's very nice um, got nice catches on it all nice direct latching on it so um, you know changed their workstation around up here built them a little area for when they're having breaks in between their surgeries and stuff and built them a little break room kitchenette deal up here and then they've got a little workstation here with a little pull out so they can type with their laptop. Uh, we've gone through the electrical system on this thing, the generator, uh, kind of rewired it. It's going to be more of a, they're going to be pulling it up and permanently locating it at uh, different locations. So we did some real neat shore power uh, set up for them. So here we are in the upholstery shop. We got Cedro, he's working his butt off. Uh, as you can see, we talked about earlier the Catalina Island. Uh, company vehicles. So we're in here building all new upholstery for these things. This uh, real high quality material. You can see how we built this stuff. You know, nice double stitch, all brand new marine plywood, really nice uh, foam, and just putting these things back right. You know, not just a, they're not just getting put back together, they're getting put back together right. And we're excited to be involved in this project. Yeah, and hey, we just want to show you this project here that came in. Uh, it's uh, Travis Matthew, one of our great commercial customers. We fix lots of trailers and their show vehicles for them. 
Uh, this just came in today. So they've written an estimate. Uh, this job's all mapped out. Uh, we're gonna be doing some roof repair, some rear end repair, little front end repair, some service work. Um, so we've got to have this vehicle out. It's going to be back at shows uh, by the first of the year. So we've got till the last week of December to get this completed and out of here. Uh, another vehicle that got dropped off for repairs, uh, this Outlaw Toy Hauler Motorhome. These things are pretty cool. Um, you don't see a lot of them, but um, they were scheduled in. We've pre-ordered the parts for them so we can get them in and out. Um, so you can see, you know, kind of, this kind of damage happens to motorhomes. They caught a pole or someone got into the side of them. So these aluminum doors, 90% um, of the time, we have the ability to uh, fabricate these doors, the frames, the outer skins, and everything in-house, which is really nice. Uh, so we can get the job in and out nice and quick. Uh, we do some work for Roy Miller Freight Lines. Uh, front end collision on this thing, just quick in and out. We've got to get these things turned around quick for these guys that are making a living with these trucks. So uh, if you've got a commercial vehicle, an RV, or a special project that you'd like us to help you with, please contact us and make an appointment and we'd love to help you. And come see our new shop here in your Belinda. And uh, hey, thanks everybody for your great business and participation. Appreciate it.